This is Plant Based Briefing. The world's first octopus farm will have a cannibalism problem, report warns, by Anna Starostinetskia at vegnews.com. And I'm Marian Erickson, your host, and this is the curated content plant based podcast where I find, get permission, and narrate a variety of articles on plant based and vegan living in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. Today's article is from vegnews.com. They were launched in 2000, and they're the largest vegan media brand in the world. They have a best-selling plant-based magazine, and they create amazing content from food to fashion to travel. They have trips. They do celebrity interviews, beauty and health info. They have a meal planner. They have a guide section on their website that's full of great information. And they also have a sister website called veganweddings.com. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. The World's First Octopus Farm Will Have a Cannibalism Problem, Report Warns, by Anna Starostinetskia at vegnews.com. Spanish seafood company Nueva Pescanova's plans for the world's first octopus farm, where up to one million animals will be slaughtered annually, will be an animal welfare disaster, a new report reveals. Every time an octopus makes a brave escape from an aquarium through a tiny hole or by using tools, the world gasps at how intelligent these ocean creatures really are, and our emotional connection to them was further fortified by the 2020 documentary My Octopus Teacher. Here, viewers watched filmmaker Craig Foster develop a deep bond with an octopus who lived in a South African kelp forest. In the Academy Award-winning film, Foster learned from the intelligent creature as she weathered life's ups and downs, including learning how to better survive after a shark attack. Her natural death was a moment of deep sadness, but also taught Foster and viewers alike about the wonder of life beneath the sea. In 2021, the United Kingdom granted octopuses, along with lobsters, crabs, and other sea creatures, new protections under its Animal Welfare, or Sentience, bill, after a government-commissioned report confirmed that these animals are sentient, intelligent beings. Quote, The Animal Welfare Sentience Bill provides a crucial assurance that animal well-being is rightly considered when developing new laws, unquote. Animal Welfare Minister Lord Sack Goldsmith said in a statement at the time, Quote, the science is now clear that decapods and cephalopods can feel pain, and therefore it is only right that they are covered by this vital piece of legislation, unquote. But have we learned enough about and from octopuses to protect them from the cruelty of factory farming? This is the challenge posed by Eurogroup for Animals, EFA, and Compassion for World Farming's, CWF, new report as seafood company Nueva Pescanova attempts to finalize plans for the world's first octopus factory farm in Las Palmas on Spain's Gran Canaria Island. Quote, Considering what we do know about how complex and highly intelligent octopuses are and much of what they need to thrive— it's absolutely inexcusable to even consider farming them at an industrial scale, unquote. Katie Nolan, campaigner for animal rights group In Defense of Animals, said in a statement, quote, We should be focused instead on investing in the creation of a truly sustainable food system that doesn't cause further animal suffering or harm human health and the environment, unquote. Are octopus factory farms a bad idea? Nueva Pescanova recently submitted plans to the General Directorate of Fishing of the Government of the Canary Islands for its octopus factory farm, where it plans to farm up to one million of the sea creatures annually. The plans outline 40 to 60 fattening tanks, 550 to 650 settlement tanks, 90 to 100 tanks for newly hatched octopuses, and 22 to 36 tanks for breeding. Nueva Pescanova, a resource-intensive land-based operation, has yet to receive all of its needed permits to operate and is awaiting approvals from Spain's Environmental Impact Assessment. In the meantime, the EFA and CWF have released their joint report, quote, uncovering the horrific reality of octopus farming, unquote, to spotlight that factory farming octopuses in this way poses disastrous consequences for the intelligent animals. Since the animals are solitary and territorial, Farming them at these densities creates conditions for aggression and cannibalism. Nueva Pescanova acknowledges this, revealing that it expects a mortality rate of 10 to 15 percent, and plans to separate the animals by sex and size as a solution. The factory farm also plans to expose female octopuses to 24-hour periods of light to spur spawning, even though the animals avoid light as a defense mechanism against daytime predators. Nueva Pescanova also acknowledges that this is a stressor for octopuses. 
The carnivorous animals will be fed fish meal and fish oil, food sources that are unsustainable and environmentally risky. When octopuses reach slaughter weight, Nueva Pascanova plans to submerge them into an icy slurry to kill them, which has been scientifically proven to be inhumane. Further, the environmental impact of the waste associated with factory farming octopuses in this way has yet to be assessed, nor have assessments been properly done of the potential diseases that can emerge from a farm like Nueva Pescanova's. Quote, furthermore, these aquaculture environments are entirely artificial, the report states. This contradicts the welfare needs of highly intelligent animals such as octopuses who require varied stimuli within their habitats, unquote. In addition to EFA, CWF, and IDA, a growing number of members of the scientific community have vehemently opposed the factory farming of octopuses. Outside of Spain, the United States and Japan are also looking to develop octopus factory farms. However, Hawaii's Kanaloa Octopus Farm halted operations for not having proper permits. The Call to Stop Octopus Factory Farms the new report builds upon existing research around the intelligence of octopuses and presents the animal welfare disaster of factory farming them. However, learning that certain animals, such as pigs, cows, chickens, and fish, are sentient and highly intelligent has not been enough to stop their exploitation for food in factory farms in the past. EFA CEO Renika Hamleers is hoping we can save octopuses from the same fate as other food animals before plans for their suffering are finalized. Quote, blindly establishing a new farming system without consideration of the ethical and environmental implications is a step in all the wrong directions, unquote, Ham Lears said in a statement. Quote, we're calling on the EU to include a ban on octopus farming before it ever sees the light of day in order to avoid plunging more sentient beings into a living hell, unquote, Ham Lears said. Currently, more than 20,000 people have supported IDA's campaign, linked here, to demand that Spanish authorities halt Nueva Pescanova's octopus factory farm. You just listened to The World's First Octopus Farm Will Have a Cannibalism Problem, Report Warns, by Anna Starostanetskia at vegnews.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson. And as always, I put a link to the original post in the show notes. And from there, you can link to the report itself, and in defense of animals campaign to block octopus farming. I'll also link that one directly in the show notes as well. And I'll also put a link to the 2020 documentary, My Octopus Teacher. I've mentioned it before on this podcast, but it is amazing. It's not a vegan or an animal rights documentary by any means, but it is mind blowing. You just get so engrossed in the entire film and it's amazing to learn so much about these incredible beings. But I also want to say that intelligence shouldn't have any bearing on whether we hurt someone else or not. With humans, we wouldn't draw that line based on a certain level of IQ, for example, that if somebody's below that level of intelligence, they don't matter, they don't get the same moral standing. No, of course not. But I also understand that whatever we can do to help people make a connection and realize that messing with others for our own gain, exploiting them is just wrong. Why can't we just leave them all alone? Or actually even better, why can't we do everything in our power to protect others? Anyway, please watch my octopus teacher. You will not be disappointed. And please sign and share the petition to ban octopus farming. It's linked in the show notes, or you can just Google octopus farming petition. And please share this episode with anyone who might benefit, and thanks for listening.